Me. Here we are again, and uh, you're going to tell me something else. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, when the train goes by. Yeah. It's yeah. Basically, I um I saw uh, on Facebook a uh, thing about the reclaim. I was working in a pub in Epsom. Um, I've moved from Cornwall uh, to take on a job at a pub. Um, I saw something occupied posted on Facebook about the reclaim camp, reclaim power camp being set up down the road from here. Um, the moment I saw that, I got a really intense feeling in my chest. Um, it was like coming off on a drug of, of some sort, but without taking anything. Um, it is the only way. I can, uh, it was a horrible, anxious feeling that, that just stayed in my chest. Um, it didn't go until I got here. Uh, on Sunday, this Wednesday, I saw the camp being set up. All day at work, Saturday and Sunday, um, I knew of, my head wasn't at work. My head was telling me I needed to be here. And uh, it was like a calling. Um, when I came here, it, this is when it dissipated. The feeling dissipated and, and it finally seemed to calm down. Uh, it, I've never had a feeling like that in my life. Um, it was. It was intense. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, but now that I've got here, um, and things weren't really going too well at the pub. Um, I've sort of now walked away from an opportunity to start in May, April, May. I've been in Gibraltar racing in the th first round of the National Thundercat Championships. Um, uh, December, I was due to be in South Africa for the Trans Agulhas, which is a, there's a 700 kilometre uh, endurance race. It's the toughest endurance powerboat race in the world. Um, it, five days of, of racing, it had been incredible, but the feeling I got was more intense than competing than any of that. It, the, the whole thing of the powerboat racing coming about was very synchronistic, and, and it was like a dream come true. Um, it really was. Uh, we were testing this season, and then getting everything worked on, and then come next season, uh, we were ready to start racing. Uh, the amount of testing and work we were going to put in, uh, we, we were going to we were in a huge chance of winning national championships, um, but I wasn't going to save the planet racing power boats or, or working in a pub. Um, well, that's more important than any of that, I believe. I, I always knew there was a bigger reason why I was moving to Epsom. Uh, I, I didn't know why. Um, I really didn't know why. It was like I'd even said to a friend that this opportunity coming around was the, maybe it took some of that magnitude to move me from Cornwall to Epsom for other reasons. Um, I believe that maybe coming here was this bigger reason. Um, they say what you give up you can receive back three times so maybe there's something truly incredible <laughs> in the pipeline for me. But um, yeah, the incredible gift back could be that they don't frack the UK. That's Amen to that brother. Yeah, yeah. It would be amazing to, to know that what's happening here is, is it's worked and, and woken yeah. people up. There's people yeah. I've spoken to in the village that have begun to wake up from they didn't see the corruption in government and things and now they've begun to wake up to the corruption and the power corporations have and this is they've just gone into that rabbit hole of, of how we've been lied to all our lives and as these are middle England Tory voters like a tough people to change their views I guess and yeah. it's had a huge impact I believe this is there's been a calling for certain people to be here I guess and yeah. I don't want to sound big-headed saying that no, <laughs> or but, egotistical but um, from my point of view you're you're you have a spiritual calling and yeah you've, you've listened yeah and you've heeded it yeah and and uh, this you probably do feel it this is exactly where I need to be yeah. I was born for this and yeah I feel that. Yeah. yeah 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 and that's that's like the spiritual warrior yeah the commitment the spiritual warrior yeah had. yeah so I wish you so everything thank you so <laughs> very glad you're here Jamie yeah I have no regrets in being here or anything I've given up I've learned a lot in, in non-attachment to things yeah. in life things come and go yeah. change is constant and uh, Maybe I was never supposed to race on Thundercats or, or be in the powerboat racing world. It was, yeah. I, was, I love the water, I love speed, I, I, I love extreme sports, but it's, yeah. it's extreme in a different way right now. <laughs> it's yeah. weird, extreme waking of society, I guess. Extreme waking of society. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree that one. So I, I, feel, I feel truly honoured to be a part of what's happening here in Balkan. It's, it's, yeah, I, I feel this is where I need to be right now in my life. and. I'm on the right path, I believe. Is, um, I understand. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good.